How are the lads, everybody? Welcome to a new video here for the American Magpie. Um, quick question this early morning in the United States of America. Should Newcastle United be resting players? Should we blame, are we in bad form or are we tired? Should tiredness be actually an excuse as to why we can't perform, as to why we are um, not been performing well in away games? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get to at least 50 likes on this video. What are your thoughts? Are we tired or are we in bad form? The reason I ask is because every time we play at home or every time we win, nobody mentions the injury crisis or the tiredness. And should be should tiredness be an excuse to not perform or an excuse to uh, to lose games and to be in bad form. Yes, the team does look fatigued, but isn't that ultimately the manager's fault, the manager's decision to change players? I do agree that we're tired. I do agree that we look fatigued, and everybody else looks in the right. Everybody else that has watched this game, big newspapers have actually put on their uh, somewhere on their articles that Spurs beat a tired Newcastle United. I think we can all agree with that. But is that an excuse to not perform? Is the manager supposed to do something about it? Um, I'm not here to blame Eddie Howe. I'm not here to, to make, to rant about him or question his decisions. But at the end of the day, if I'm going to analyze this match, I need to point out what I don't think was a good decision. When we point out good decisions by the manager, nobody says anything about it. But when we point out something that he did, that we thought he did wrong, all of a sudden we won Mike Ashley back, we won uh, what was before the takeover, or we're Sunderland fans. You see what I'm saying? And we can all agree to disagree to a certain extent. Let me know in the comment sections what you think. But ultimately, I want to know your opinion. Are we tired or are we just simply in bad form? And um, because should Callum Wilson, the way he, he came on the pitch, should he have had more minutes or should he, should he have started knowing that we're going to play AC Milan in the in the middle of the week? You know, we're going to be tired. And at this point in time, there was no is nobody rested unless Callum Wilson plays in the beginning of the, the AC Milan match, which I think is not going to happen. So should um, Longstaff have started and gotten some minutes, knowing that that was an important match coming up as well? You know, what are your thoughts? Why is Lewis Miley not playing and Trippier looks exhausted? Trippier plays every single match, and he has made two crucial mistakes uh, in, in the Everton match that cost us two goals. And yesterday... He made mistakes as well. He couldn't guard Son. He wasn't there physically. And so what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. I really would like to know. Regardless, now we didn't get players rested. And so Wednesday against AC Milan is going to be a tough, tough outing at home, of course. And I know that St. James's Park is a nice arena, a nice venue to come on and, and talk and play, uh, rather. And so... Maybe that gives us a little bit of energy, but at the end of the day, it is an important match, a really hard match. AC Milan are basically out of the Champions League at this point, but regardless, they're still competitors, and they're going to come and make and prove a point. And based on the whole Tonali situation, it could be a chippy, chippy match. So let me know in the comment section what you think down below. Please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. My name is Chris, the American Magpie. Don't forget to subscribe. And later today, we're going to have the match reaction of Tottenham and Newcastle United losing 4-1. Don't forget to go there late at night. Might be midnight for the UK folks and 6 p.m. for uh, United States Central Time. So I appreciate everybody coming on. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to as many likes as we can, and we'll see you on the next one.